third density was run off the illusion of, of it being out of control, of a universe out of control. See, this is the one place, this is the one dimension where darkness can be the king, where, where lies can be the, the currency. Only in this third dimension, which will eventually, understand, be dissolved. Be dissolved as soon as it's healed. Have you ever wondered why even, even when you fully recognize the shadow self, even when you fully recognize the ego as a program, like even when I've told the program, when I've pinned it down to a place where it cannot run and looked it right in the face and told it, I will heal you, I created you, you are part of me, stop fighting, come back to me, we can return together. Even then, it never stops. It only pretends to stop. Why? Because it's not my shadow alone. Not, not this expression of the infinite all. It's, out, it's all of ours together. See? So until the shadow is healed in the universe at large, until the original wound is healed, until those original fragments are healed, then this will persist. And when that is healed, the third dimension will be gone. The third dimension can only exist because of that shadow, because of that darkness. Remember, because it did not start this way. Hmm? The, the third dimension was forged from the fires and darkness of the, of the fifth. Those that fell from the fifth through their acts. You know, in life, if if you're if you are now hearing this and you are awake and or you are waking up in the process or you are about to wake up you're starting to see some of this you will realize that if you look back at your life there are points where you descended further into the darkness although at the time you did not realize it i don't know what it was I don't know whether it was you taking a hit of weed. I don't know whether it was you sticking a needle in your arm. I don't know whether it was you lying to your partner, having an affair, lying to a friend, lying to a coworker, trying to get ahead in a position by, by screwing somebody else. I don't know what selfish act or what act of the darkness we played with. But we never knew the consequences, and we never saw the freaking consequences after. Not most of us, and not for most of the consequences. Meaning, we do the thing, and it seems to us like everything's fine. Oh, that was just a stupid thing. It wasn't really a, it wasn't really a dangerous thing after all. It's perfectly fine. People do it all the time. Everybody's doing it. Why shouldn't I? And you focus on the, the perceived rewards. And because we push our manifestations off here in the third dimension, you don't, you don't obviously always see the results of your actions right away. It, it takes time for some of these things to bear fruit. <laughs> and, and so you may get the rewards and not see the consequences. But because we make these decisions often, and one decision of darkness will often lead into another decision of darkness. And pretty soon we're lost. And you can look back and trace that and find it. Where where you turned, where you turned, where you lost yourself a little bit. And that's all these stories that the third densities are running. And they're all over because there's disasters everywhere. There's natural disasters. There are civil disasters, there are biological disasters, there are scientific chemical disasters, there, there are all kinds of disasters <laughs> happening, all kinds of stories. 
all happening to one being <laughs> all dreaming it see but there's only really two masters here see if you think about it like this at at the center of this all there is a great central sun and that is the dreamer of all of this now the great central sun as it dreams it separates its light into rays and those rays are us we are each expressions one of those rays as the rays go forward they start to interact and and and, and separate into little diffuse rays themselves and that is the level where the dreams start to happen the dreams of the worlds and the creations created by us by the oversouls and then further and further down you go at so at the very final extension of this sphere of energy as it's pushing out we could see on the surface of this sphere images flickering in light and that's where these dreams this third dimensional dream is happening that final final little surface layer like and we're talking about a, an infinitely huge <laughs> this is just going on forever this light right but and i know that's paradoxical that there shouldn't be a surface edge but you don't have to actually think of it as an edge you can think of it as an area of projection i'm just using the edge just so you can clearly see it that way as a sphere you know with images projected upon the surface because it seems that way in comparison to the rest this layer this third dimensional reality is a very thin stratum of existence compared to the rest of the dimensionalities and even beyond dimensionality and only in that little thin stratum is this happening so basically in that thin stratum where where the shadow exists where where that energy has been inverted upon itself where source energy has been inverted upon itself and forgotten what it is is there another master but god even though it's only really god but here where this energy of god believes itself to not be god there is a whole other story about fear and domination and suffering and who has the power and who doesn't so you either believe that story told in those dreams, the dream of this world. You either believe when, when, when the person runs in and says, they're, they're coming, they're coming to get us. Or you either believe when, when they say, they're going to force everyone to take vaccines. You got to do it. You got to do it. Or we got to fight them. We got to fight them. Even when they say that. Even, even the, the, the people who say, bow down, I'm your master, and the people who say, we got to fight these people, we can't let them take us, both of them are the same people trying to pull you into the same story. That you need do anything, that you do not have power. There was a time, all of you know, right, that if you've listened to me, there was a time many times a, a long period of this life that i spent incarcerated right and you know how and you know why because at those times i fully believed i fully believed i could not get out i fully believed those walls were as solid as can be i fully believed there was no escape and so it was i don't believe that anymore and what's really crazy is I knew better back then. Even then, I knew. But the belief that I was trapped was stronger. Because I had already left my body as a child. Enough to know that it was real. And seen verifiable things in the third dimensional world. And in other realms. And I already knew that I could kill myself. I knew there was one way out. Suicide. But now I know you don't have to die physically to leave, to bilocate, to leave the body, to change the reality. Let's just say, for instance, let's say the government heard this video and was like, this, who does this guy think he is? And they just came in here and arrested me and threw me in Guantanamo Bay. Let's just say, okay? What do you think my soul would do about that? What do you think my higher self would do about that? Knowing my mission knowing who I am, knowing what I am, what would I do? Hmm? 
because I know that I can leave this body. So let's say I untether my soul completely from this body, and if the only way you can think about that is suicide, then fine. But I would not have to actually commit suicide, as they call it. I could simply leave. So I untether my soul from this body, and I leave, and I go to a place outside of time and space where I can view infinite possible timelines. And what do you think I would do if I wasn't satisfied with the experience that I had just had? I would go back and change it. And so to me, this, this lower dimensional expression would just reform itself in the new scenario, not incarcerated, and I've already done it. I've told you that before. There is no power above you other than you yourself, for we are one and one is all. There is no governmental power above you. There are no police that control you. There is no government that dictates to you whether you need to take the vaccine or not. If you cannot eat, if they tell you there will be not, you will not be able to eat, you will not be able to purchase food, if you do not take this vaccine, then don't eat. You will be fine. Put your faith in that above. Put your faith in your higher self. Realize your higher self is creating this experience for you. Your interaction with this stream of source energy would not exist without you. <laughs> and it's all you. But without even your oversoul, without your soul's interaction in this game, first of all, the game wouldn't be happening because all are necessary. And you would not be experiencing it. Like <laughs> You would not be a part of it. You would not... You understand, you, it's a voluntary game that you are creating your whole experience of. You are dreaming your own experience of this. You are solely in control. You are a free will creator, a sovereign being. There is no power above you. There is no witch doctor that you need to fear. There is no dark sorcerer. There is no alien presence that you need to fear. I mean that. I don't care if a ship appears above me and points a damn laser at me, weapon at me. I will laugh. I will laugh and they will run. Or they won't. And I really don't care because I'll just be fine. Because we are one, and one is all. And we are eternal beings. Love and light. It's gonna get fun. <laughs>